So the journey, the road. It's often uh, very common to think of, you know, life is a journey. Uh, you enjoy the, the journey. Uh, the journey has no destination, really. It's uh, enjoy the way along the journey. Um, but this way that I think of journey is that from the moment of conception to the moment of death, if you can call death a moment, um, each of us is going to have a day. It's a very specific day that you die. It's not just, I'm going to die some days. You're going to die on a Tuesday or on a Saturday morning at 4 a.m. You, you don't know when exactly, but the fact is it's going to end and end very specifically for you and your body and your mind. Like that whole thing is going to end on a very specific day. And being a hospice nurse means coming in contact with people who are probably most likely going to encounter that day before you do. Um, if you uh, have the bad luck of getting into an accident, you can get hit by a bus, all kinds of things can happen. But most likely you're going to live longer than your patients. And, and there it is, you know, they're, they were conceived, you know, if they're in their 80s or 90s, they were conceived, you know, way before you were, and they've been living their life and doing their thing. And the place as a hospice nurse where you encounter these people are probably within six months of the end. That day is approaching and they're on their journey, but it's your, your, you get to accompany them for very specific moments as you parachute into their life you get to accompany them as they make their way towards the grave that's one way of thinking about the journey their physical body is heading into a grave i know some people get cremated but whatever it is that body is going to be kind of stiff and cold and the heart's not beating anymore the lungs aren't breathing anymore the mind isn't thinking any thoughts anymore i don't know what happens I'm pretty, uh, uh, I don't know-ish about what happens. I have no idea. Uh, it's not even that important to me. Uh, I'll either find out that there's something or I uh, find, won't find out that there's nothing because th <laughs> there won't be a me to find out that there's nothing. Um, however that is, uh, uh, helping people on their journey towards that day, I mean, to me, it's just very helpful to think about it very specifically and very concretely and, and you're helping their body as it makes its way towards the grave. And people often don't realize that their death means, in a way, the loss of all function. Any way that they're functioning, any thing that they're doing to function, they're eating, they're drinking, they're breathing, they're talking, they're walking around, all of it, when they're dead, it's going to be gone. It's all down to zero. Blood pressure. The blood pressure is zero over zero. The heart rate is zero. Respirations are zero per minute. Uh, there's just there's nothing left. And so, a lot of times when people are, you know, complaining like I used to be able to walk around the block and now it's hard to get out of bed. I'm like, well, <laughs> where you're headed towards, there's no movement at all. So it might be hard to get out of bed now. But, uh, I mean, come on, like, what's actually happening? I don't say this to them, but I do, <laughs> I do think it. And I'm like, wow, I guess you're really not grasping what's happening. You're on your way to losing all function, and you're complaining that you have less function than you did before. And I, and I get it. I, you know, I understand. But, wow, I mean, what do you think's going on? And so there I am. And, and so what comes out of me is something I, I hope is a little helpful about acceptance about, okay, yeah, it's true. Uh, you, you aren't able to get out of bed the way you used to, but with somebody's help, you can, and you can come out, sit in the living room, you can enjoy your grandchildren, you know, whatever the things are, um, trying to help them uh, get some acceptance. Um, but this journey towards the grave, is it is what it is and we're all heading there and i i feel a tremendous
camaraderie really with my patients because we are all heading there and heading towards that specific spot in the ground or the specific day we're getting ready to be cremated and uh, everybody shares that.